Welcome to This Week in Astronomy, brought to you by Celestron, the world's leading manufacturer of telescopes. I'm Dave Eicher, editor of Astronomy Magazine. This time we're going to talk about a big subject, and that is how will the sun die? Well, we go outside and we look up and we see the sun in the sky every day and we take it for granted. Well, we don't see it every day in Milwaukee, but in a lot of places we see the sun every day. We take it for granted. It's a constant in our sky. It gives us life on Earth, but it's not a constant. We know that the sun is 4.6 billion years old. It's a normal middleweight main sequence star, spectral type G2 class 5 main sequence star. That means it's a sort of a middleweight ordinary star in the middle of its life. What will happen to the sun eventually? Well, about 5 billion years or so from now, the sun will run out of hydrogen and it will swell up to become a red giant many, many times larger than it is now. And about 7 billion years from now, it will actually go into an interesting phase for observational astronomers. That is, our solar system will produce a planetary nebula. You can look out with your Celestron telescope around the sky, see the Ring Nebula, the Owl Nebula, the Dumbbell Nebula, many, many other examples of planetary nebulae. This is a transient phase. It lasts for about 50,000 years, this expanding shell of luminous gas around a dying solar mass type star. So enjoy the sun now, don't get burned by it, uh, but uh, enjoy it. We've got a great star, we've got a stable life on our planet, but it won't last forever and eventually we'll be in a remnant solar system inside a planetary nebula that will leave a little white dwarf. I'll see you next time.